the one thing that seemed to unite us as scholars, or the majority of scholars, was a sense of an idealistic design to change the world. All of us, whether we were from the US, whether we were from Africa, the Caribbean, we all had a burning passion um, and a burning belief in ourselves that we were going to change the world. The Rhodes Scholarship has had an amazing impact on South African society in a variety of spheres, from the legal sphere, where I think it's most pronounced, where you've got Justice Edwin Cameron, who's the General Secretary, who, as most people know, has been on the forefront of developing and changing laws. Sitting on the Constitutional Court right now, he's also seen as one of our most important human rights advocates. We have, in the academic sphere, two of our universities, the Vice Chancellors or Rhodes Scholars, Max Price at UCT and Louisa Ngongba at Fitz University. And both of them, I think, have got a real understanding of what it takes to be a world-class institution from having spent formative years at Oxford. In terms of the business realm, Jaco Marie springs to mind. He has been the CEO of one of our largest banks, Standard Bank, for many years. I think lastly, when I look at our younger scholars, people such as Yusuf Rantera Reese, who set up an entrepreneurial organization focused on developing entrepreneurs, or Trudy Makaya, who's sitting at the Competition Commission at the forefront of some of our real policy debates. It gives me hope that that sense of a rich, deep, meaningful Rhodes Scholarship and Oxford experience will be brought to life and have a real impact on South African society.